Animals in the House by Colin Harris Animals in the House Contents Introduction, page 2 The House Fly, page 7 The House Mouse, page 12 The House Martin, page 18 The Pipistrelle Bat, page 24 Things to Do, page 31 Index, page 32 Introduction. We build houses to live in, but lots of animals come to live with us too. Look at this house, and you will see some animals to look out for. Look into the house to see some more animals. <coughs> this book will tell you more about some animals that live in houses. The house fly. A house fly is about this big. This is what it looks like under a lens. A house fly seen under a lens. It has two wings and six legs. There are black bands on its back. What colour are its eyes? The house fly is an insect. Adult insects have a head and a body. They have six legs. Many insects have wings too, but sometimes the wings are hidden. An adult insect. Antenna, head, leg, wings hidden under green back. You do not often see houseflies in winter. In summer, the female fly lays her eggs on animal droppings and garden compost. If she can, she will lay them on food which is left on the kitchen table. She lays up to six batches of eggs, with a hundred to a hundred and fifty eggs in every batch. The eggs are this big. Housefly eggs. Housefly eggs seen under a lens. In less than a day, maggots hatch out. This is a maggot. Maggots seen under a lens. The maggot eats for about five days. Then it grows a reddish-brown shell. This is called a pupa. A pupa seen under a lens. In three or four more days, the pupa splits and the adult fly creeps out. When houseflies land on droppings and rotten food, bits stick to them. When they come into your kitchen, these bits drop off. And when they eat the food left on your kitchen table, they spit on it first. What do you think will happen if you eat food that flies have landed on? Can you see what this fly has landed on? You must stop flies from landing on food. Put lids back on pots and shut boxes and packets. The house mouse. A house mouse is about this big. A house mouse. The house mouse can get into a gap which is this big. The house mouse often hunts for food in the kitchen. The house mouse eats just about everything kept in the kitchen, but it will not come out if we are there. So, when we are in bed, it often creeps into the kitchen to hunt for food. It looks for scraps and bits of crust. If nothing is left out, the house mouse does not give up. It can tunnel into kitchen cabinets and eat into boxes and bags of food. It eats into these things, too. Some things the house mouse eats into. You can tell that a mouse is visiting your kitchen. If you see its droppings, they are black. House mouse droppings seen under a lens. If there is some dust, you can look for mouse tracks, too. A mouse track in dust. Can you see the tail track? When the female mouse is ready to have babies, she collects bits of rubbish and shreds them for her nest. At first the babies are pink and they cannot see. They will all fit into one of your hands. A mouse nest and babies. They are fed on the female's milk. They grow very fast. In three weeks, they come out of the nest to go hunting. Then, in about two more weeks, they can have babies too. Because the house mouse is a pest, traps are often put out to catch it. The trap kills the mouse when it comes to eat the food. 
a mouse trap. But the house mouse is very difficult to get rid of because it has so many babies. The house martin. In summer you will often see house martins hunting for insects. They fly very fast. Two house martins. House martins often nest on houses. They collect mud from ponds and rivers to build nests. Then they stick the mud to the bricks at the top of the house. At the end of about two weeks, they finish the nest. There is a thin slit at the top so that the birds can get in and out. They collect soft grass and moss to pad the bottom of the nest, a house martin's nest. Then the female lays one egg every day for four or five days. This batch of eggs is called a clutch. The adults sit on the clutch of eggs for two weeks until they hatch. The baby birds are called nestlings. At first they cannot see. They are helpless. The adults must bring them lots of food so that they will grow. Nestling House Martins Every day the nestlings eat hundreds of insects. They grow very fast. At the end of about 22 days they are ready to fly. The nestlings grow fast. The female now lays some more eggs. When they hatch into nestlings, the birds from the first clutch often bring them food. In winter there are not many insects for house martins to eat, so at the end of summer they must go to Africa, where insects are plentiful. At this time you can see big flocks of house martins getting ready to set off a flock of house martins. If you look at the map you can see that it is a long trip to Africa. Sometimes the house martins go to sleep as they are flying, but they do not get lost. The trip to Africa. In spring, the house martins come back to the nest. They mend it and lay some more eggs. The pipistrelle bat. Which of these houses do you think the pipistrelle likes to live in? The pipistrelle does not like houses which are full of dust and cobwebs. It likes to stay in well-kept houses. It sleeps in the daytime and comes out at dusk to hunt for insects. When the pipistrelle rests, it tucks in its wings and it looks like this, the pipistrelle at rest. Can you see why it is sometimes called the little bat? It is so little that it will fit into a matchbox. Wings of skin, head, body, back legs, tail, a pipistrelle. When the pipistrelle stretches out its wings, it looks very different. Bats cannot see very well at night, so when they are flying they send out lots of blips of sound every second. If one of the blips hits something, the sound comes back to the bat. A bat spots an insect with blips of sound. If the blip comes back from an insect, the bat gets ready to catch the insect. A pipistrelle eating an insect. A pipistrelle can catch and eat 3,000 insects in one night. Bats have to get as fat as they can because when winter comes, there are not many insects left to catch. When summer ends, bats do not fly to Africa like house martins. They look for somewhere to hibernate. When animals hibernate, they go to sleep for a long time. Often many bats hibernate in one spot. Sometimes a bat will get up to have a stretch, or go hunting, or look for a different spot to hibernate in. In spring, the bats come out. They are so thin that they eat as many insects as they can catch. When summer comes, the females fly off, often to a loft. They will not let the males in. Now they have the baby bats. The males do not help to bring the babies up. A female with her baby. Female bats have one baby a year, but the winter frosts kill many of the babies. There are not many bats left, so all British bats are protected. You must not catch bats or pick them up. Block up the exits where they live. Go into spots where they are sleeping. Go into a loft full of baby bats, as the females will fly off and abandon them. If there are bats in your house, 
You must protect them. Things to do. Question 1. Draw six animals that live in houses. Question 2. Write two facts about one of the animals in this book. Question 3. What can you do to stop a house fly from laying eggs on food? Question 4. Draw two things to look for if you think a mouse is in the house. Question 5. Can you think of a trap that will catch a mouse but not kill it? Draw a plan of this trap with a mouse in it. Question 6. Draw a flock of house martins and a map of where they go in summer. Question 7. What must you not do to bats? Question 8. Draw a bat flying at night. Question 9. What happens when bats hibernate? Question 10. Draw a bird and a bat. Write three things that are different about them. Question 11. Which animal in this book do you like best? Why?